Well, this time is a little bit different. I've uh, decided to go on a little ride, and I've ended up here. And here is the Peak District, up round Derbyshire way. And it's all a little bit lovely, to be honest. Yes, very nice. Um, it's the bank holiday weekend, end of August. I don't know when I'll um, put this video out. But yeah, it's the end of August, bank holiday weekend, and the wife who works for Wee Moto has gone over to Jerby, Isle of Man, uh, to do some charity selling of t-shirts and stuff because uh, Wiimoto sponsor Jerby and also all proceeds from their t-shirt sales so get online to Wiimoto and buy one of their Jerby t-shirts uh, it's 10 quid and all the money goes to the air ambulance so uh, well worthwhile anyway enough advertising yeah wife's away for the weekend so I thought, sod it, I'm going away for the weekend. And this is where I decided to come. And I've followed um, Google Maps up. And it has given me a bit of a tedious route. I wanted to go all the back streets and everything, but um, avoiding motorways. But I couldn't put in avoid dual carriageways, so uh, I've ended up with, on a few of them. which has been a bit tedious but obviously it's taken a lot less time than it should or than I thought it would um, set off just after nine and I've just sat down and had my lunch that was about half an hour to an hour's worth so yeah about three and a half hours um, Look at this, lovely isn't it? And I've decided to take a bit of a detour. I'm staying in Buxton, um, just on the south skirts of the, the actual Peak District, because um, I want to go and see uh, Lady Bower Reservoir tomorrow. I'm stopping overnight tonight. I've got a full day in the Peak District tomorrow and um, travel back again Monday and I won't be uh, using Google Maps too much that'll be a really long trip back taking a lot of roads like this hopefully um, yeah so the reason I'm up here I'm, I'm on a group called Flickr a photographic um, don't know what we call it website whatever um, where it's free to hang on a minute we want there uh, Bakewell straight on Bakewell I might go and get a bit of tart you know Whee! um yes yeah, so I'm on Flickr and uh, I'll, I'll stop stuttering in a minute probably oh the old Cortina nice when you've got the opportunity yeah so as I keep saying and I will finish bloody saying I'm a member of a website called Flickr which is for photographers pro or amateur just to put their work up there's sev several groups well several hundreds of groups within that um, for depending on what camera you're using uh, whether you're doing black and white or colours you know every sort of denomination of photograph 
um, there's a group on Flickr for. Um, anyway, I, I just happened to be looking at um, some photos and one came up of Lady Bell Reservoir and I thought, do you know what, that looks nice, I wonder where that is. And it turns out it's in the Peak District, which, <laughs> funnily enough, is where I am. So yes, tomorrow, the one thing that I've got to do is go to the Lady Bell Reservoir. Um, I'll probably knock out uh, Snake Pass and Winnett's Pass. I think there was another pass I was going to. Yeah, so knock them out. Um, and then... Uh, just free to roam after that really but that was the only actual purpose of the visit was um, to see the reservoir but yes I'm, I'm glad I've come up as I say, the trip up has been, it's been all right, but it's a little bit tedious. So, um, this is a much welcome change of pace. That's gravelly. We're going straight on for Bakewell. When I stopped for lunch and um, put up that I was in uh, Derbyshire area, um, a friend of mine on Facebook said, Oh, you want to go to Bakewell and have a tart? So I am. Well, I'm going to Bakewell. There's a nice little tea shop that I can park my bike right outside of. I dare say I'll have some tart. But this is glorious, apart from the van, of course. We'll get rid of the van. Yeah, so, um, must, much welcome break after can't think the last time I, I had a proper sort of break being that I'm going to Australia to see my daughter this year we haven't really had any holidays we just had single days off so this it's not down there Bakewell four miles So yeah, it just so happened the missus was going to Jerby, which has given me a free weekend. Oh, I didn't see the sign. <laughs> Bake though, there you go. Go on, go on. Oh, <laughs> you are kidding me. Let's wait for everyone to get there and then pull out. Yay! Bike's been brilliant as well. It's, um, I think it was about on about the three hour, three hour mark of traveling when I started getting sore. So that's bloody good for a seat, for a standard seat. 
So that's the longest test that's had so far. My arse and the seat. Um, yes, as I say, about three hours, and then my arse was getting sore. Um, but apart from that, it's been faultless. Well, it should be. It's, it's pretty much a new bike. Oh, look at that. It's quite sexy, isn't it? Yes, well, the little lane turned into a dead end. So back we go. Yeah, a nice little photo shoot. With obviously the main feature being the motorbike. It's gorgeous. It's just a shame about all them bloody tourists. Camera cars in into the road and everything. Are we going the right way? Yes, down here. Right the roundabout. Long way down here. Yeah. Yes, no bakewell tart. I just can't put up with the crowds. When I get back home, I'll go to Tesco's and get a bake real tart. See, you can go anywhere. I'm a tourist. Nice. Just in a route seven minutes slower. Well, it's a tiny little lane, so let's go and have a look. Sure, this one. <laughs> it's not fucking rerouting. <laughs> uh oh, lost. <laughs> 